Hey, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and today I'm recapping Game 20 of the regular season. Astros over the Mariners, 2-1 to one in a very close game. Out hit the Mariners 6-3. to three. Christian Javier got the start and got the win. I can't wait to get into it. A pretty nice game, surprisingly, from the Astros pitching. Last night we had an offensive explosion, and we shut them down. I mean, we only allowed one run, but last night was remembered for the offense. Today should be remembered for the uh, pitching. Christian Javier got the start. He looked really solid. He wasn't quite as sharp as his last start, or the start before that, but he looked, well, excuse me, not last start, he kind of had a blow up, uh, but he had a, he wasn't as sharp as he has been, but he had a very nice game tonight, went six innings, three straight games where we've went six innings, and those pitchers, two of them have been Christian Javier and Fran Valdez. I didn't think I'd be saying those words at the start of the season, and I'm going to continue to say that every game they pitch well, because... They deserve so much praise, um, honestly. Christian Javier, Brandon Belak, Fran Valdez, they deserve so much praise from the fans because they have come in, and those starting pitchers, they have saved us. They are picking up the slack from Verlander being gone, from Cole being gone. They're really helping us, and they just deserve all the praise they could get right now. Christian Javier again, he had a nice start. Six innings, one hit, three walks, five strikeouts. Nice win, or nice game, got the win. Uh, Josh James came in, and Josh James didn't give up any runs. Let's give him a hand. He didn't give up any runs. And I say that sl a little tongue-in-cheek, but I'm happy he didn't give up any runs, given his past couple outings. Seeing him come in in a 2 nothing game made my heart race. Uh, he did strike a guy out, though, so Josh James had a okay night. Uh, Brooks Raley came in and gave up a home run, which ended up not hurting us, and if he's going to give up a hiccup... A one, a solo home run, that's preferable, especially in the game that we had the two-run lead at the time. So, again, I'm not happy that that happened, but he looked solid in his past two outings, and outside of that, looked pretty solid tonight. So, I'm not going to give him too much grief. Did strike a guy out, though. Presley came in, and Ryan Presley, he looked like himself. He looked like himself from last year. Eight pitches, all strikes, filled up the zone, and I know it was the Mariners, so, you know, you can take it with a little grain of salt, but Presley just didn't give him a chance to breathe. And it looked, it sort of reminded me, this is going to be really just like out of left field. What Presley did tonight sort of reminded me of like the, uh, the 45 defense, the Bears 45 defense. I know that's really random, but he just, he kept filling up the strike zone. He just wouldn't give him a chance to breathe. And it worked, struck two guys out. The only Ball put in play was like a weak pop out. So Presley, he looked really good tonight. Got a second save of the season. And I'm really hoping that he can start rolling again. Um, I think he picked up his first save three, four nights ago. I believe that was Monday that he got it. So I'm really hoping that Presley can start getting into this rhythm again. Because he looked really good tonight. Offense got started. Uh, Jordan got the hit. He would eventually come around to score. But Jordan, he has hit two missiles. Uh, 111 last night, I think it was 111.6, and tonight was 113, I believe it was a 113.4. That was an absolute missile that he hit. Jordan, his legs haven't, they're not looking great. Um, he kind of, I know he got first to third tonight, but his running didn't look super comfortable. But boy, his arms, his bat is just, he destroyed that ball. And it was only a single, funnily enough, but whew. He absolutely smoked it. Uh, Yuli got a double, and he moved him over to third. Altuve grounded out, but he got the RBI, which Altuve got that RBI, and he had another hit tonight, so hopefully Altuve can start to compile good hits. I wanted to mention, seeing Altuve bat seventh in the lineup kind of hurt my soul. I love Altuve. He is my favorite Astro. And seeing him be moved that far down in the lineup, I understand it. He hasn't been good this year but it breaks my heart to see, and I'm really hoping that tonight he had an RBI, he had a hit. I'm hoping he can start to compile good plate appearances, compile good at-bats, and start to feel better. Um, yeah, it, he, he had an okay night at the plate, uh, one hit, RBI, so hopefully he can start to turn that around. Uh, Bregman got a weird hit, which I want to mention because I like mentioning it. He had that weird hit off the pitcher that <laughs> ended up in foul ground. Were weird hits. He didn't score. Nothing really happened, but he did it. Uh, speaking of runs, Yuli hit a home run. So La Pena Power is fifth home run of the year. And Yuli is making a nice case to be re signed in the offseason, which I know he's older. 
And so I'm not really crazy about giving him a super long contract or anything, but I'd be okay, especially, I believe his on base percentage this year is around 350, 360, which is above average. So I'd be okay with giving him maybe a one or two year extension. You know, I'm not wanting to do something crazy like a three or four year deal, but one, two year, keep him around for a little bit longer. Maybe give Jordan time to transfer or to transition into a first baseman. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to make a video on that. I don't know. Wink. Um, <laughs> I, I'd be okay bringing Yuli back, especially since he's looked fine this year. He's been one of the few Astros. Him and Correa have been the two Astros this year that have most stuck out in the offense. And then also Maldonado, but him a little bit less. But um, Yuli and Correa have been really saving graces of this offense. Anyway, yeah, it's sort of a quick recap. It wasn't a super long game. I think it was barely two and a half hours. So, yeah, sort of a quick game tonight, which, you know, we've had a lot of long games, so seeing one end so quickly is kind of bizarre to me. <laughs> anyway, McCullers gets the start tomorrow. Game starts at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and Ghostros.